Hello everyone, welcome back to the Nerdy Quail. We're going to get started in a few moments here. We're going to see if anyone else joins in with us today. Alright, so what are we going to be doing today in Stormworks? Well, we're going to probably just try focusing on a few missions, see how the boat works out, and uh, see if there's anything else we need to put on there. Last time we put in a couple more batteries, and we... because the water pump really, really sucked up battery life. So we doubled the capacity of our batteries, our electrical stuff, and all that. Well, let's see. We'll give it about 15 more seconds starting now. And we'll just go ahead and start the game. Alrighty, here we go. All right, it is nighttime. I am going to start by returning the boat to the workshop. And just checking all we have at currently are transporting boats. So that is something I can't do quite yet and I'm not sure how to do. Um, so we're gonna wait until morning And I have an idea with it, but I'm hoping more for another firefighting mission. Alright, next day. And, okay, so we will open up the workshop and we're going to try thinking about how could we tow a boat now I have one idea which is what is it rope nope not roper rope uh, aircraft propellers nope a wench, yeah, a wench would work. Electrical cable anchor. Uh, that's what we need. Rope anchor. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Depending on the boat. Let's see. So that is... We can stick that. Right in the middle there. And welcome back, Yang. How are you doing? Peanut butter. I do 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 do. Eh. No boy, no. That so that might work. Rope to rope. We'll just try that out, and we'll just save the boat. And... Let's see here. Yep. Alright. So, I completely redesigned the interior so that the um, helm's a lot easier to use. I made a GPS system, and let's try this out. We'll try going to one of those, whoops, not new vehicle, one of those let's tow the boat things. And that's the button we need. Oh, 
Um, I've been adding more weight to the front. It's slightly back heavy. I was thinking about adding another level of wall around it. But, I mean, I put on a, a large pump in the front. And uh, that just sunk the boat right there. <laughs> Let's respawn that in. Um, I did add a large pump, a lot more weight in the front, so it's not as bad. So it has all the... Because it still needs to be angled slightly up, I think. But it's much better. That didn't do much. Been having trouble getting the engine started, though. And I'm not sure why. Drop the throttle down. Get the RPS back down. I thought I had it up to the correct uh, RPS, which is usually about 6. Okay. Maybe. Might be flooded. But it's still sealed in there. So I just took this thing out the other day and it was working. Same everything. Alright, let's try throwing... No, I'm not a boat guy either. I'm I'm learning by trial and error here. Wait block. Let's try putting in a couple more weights then. Bam 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 bam. I forgot to have synergy on or uh, symmetry. All right, let's try that. Because there's no access point in the back, so there shouldn't be any. Unless it's that. Hmm. Yeah, and then uh, as soon as we start get going, it just dies out on me. Oh, this is interesting. All right. Back to the workshop. Let's try to figure out what's going on. Okay, I might be weighing it down too much in the front, maybe? Because I haven't changed anything back here whatsoever. The only thing I can think of is that... I have the air intakes here. Maybe they're getting filled with water. Uh, okay. Pipe. We'll get a 
straight pipe block and close yep and then do some straights and is there an intake specific piece I could use I don't think so so we'll just use the fluid port here and we're gonna nuke these actually let's do this symmetry add uh, yeah symmetry on bam put in the enclosed pipe Bam, and bam, 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 bam. Actually, I have an idea. We'll need pipe again. And we're going to use some curved ones. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't think I need the corner one. All right. So we're going to, bam. We're going to try putting the pipe on the roof here. Do that one. Curve. I mean, I probably could make it internal, but we'll, I want to see if this is what will solve the issue first. All right, let's see if this solves the issue. Spawn. And let's see here. Helm. Start this engine. Nope, not the beacon. I don't know what the 75. Odd. All the way. Huh. Very, very odd. Yeah, I'm going to move those back, but I'm going to see if this is actually... I think there's a hole in here somewhere. Connection issue, probably. But I'm going to load back here. Okay, let's... I'm going to just take a look on the inside and see... Are there any holes anywhere, maybe? I don't think so, I don't see any. And that's all sealed. 
Hmm. So let's get this block here. And I'm going to try removing some of the side weight. We'll fill this all up. See if that helps. Spawn that. All right, let's see. Does this immediately fill up with water? No, that was probably the issue. Okay. And turn it on. Yeah, I had too much weight in the front, apparently. There we go. Awesome. Alrighty. Looks like a couple other people came on. Welcome, welcome. We're going to cut down the throttle a little bit, and we are going to head southeast. There's two boats in that direction. It's west that way, so we're going to go. Oh, there's a connection issue. So we're going to head towards 1678 and 1989. Okay, with the engine, yeah. Now, I guess there was too much weight in the front, apparently, for this particular design. Well, yeah, I mean... It is working. It's working much better than when we first started. All right, we're gonna see if we can find see any of the little speedboats that need our help. <laughs> it gives me bardic inspiration. Yes. Yes. All right. So we are not heading the right direction, apparently. It said south. There we go. Feels so fine, though. Awesome. But yeah, last time we played, uh, or last time I think you were on uh, Yang, that um, I changed up this uh, instrument cluster. And uh, I think it's a lot more easily readable, except for electricity, but I can at least just do that. Yes. <laughs> One of the most underused features in online format gaming. Bardic Inspiration. Alright, we are now at 14, negative 14. Okay. Getting there. We'll head a little bit more... that way that's one of them so hopefully they have a uh, 
rope attachment. Oh, you know, I was going to put more windows in here as well. Probably and raise it up by one. Alright, let's see what we're working with here. Looks like I could... There's the rope attachment and a, or anchor port thingy-mobobber in the front there. That just a spotlight. All right, let's cut the engine. Let me see what I'm working with here. So it's supposed to tow this thing, so let's see. Okay, we got one there. All right, we got two ports in the back. Another one there, another one there. They have a nice fancy looking thing here. Huh. Alright. Oh, they have an autopilot built into this thing. I wonder how you make that. Uh, okay then, let's... Is that a HUD? <laughs> it is. Alright. Oh, there are sharks in this game. <laughs> yes, be safe. Definitely. Um, can I make it? I got my flippers. Let's try that then. No clue how well this will work. Come on, you can do it. I think there's too much weight in the back. Hmm. How to do this? How to do this? Yeah. Let's come on. <laughs> I can't use their belt. Okay. Um, 
Okay, let's see here. Oh, that's a modular engine and everything in this. Can I knock this over? So that it's straight. Might be part of the issue that I'm dragging it straight back. Uh, turn that on. We'll try to turn a bit. Come on. I believe in you, engine. Just really, really does not want to start. Okay, let's try turning it more to the right. Drop the throttle a bit. Actually, let's try turning it to the left. Well, there's something wrong with this thing. Hmm. I don't think I can do any towing with this. At least not with how it's designed. Can I now start it without the toe? Nope. Or it's getting closer. Like I can kind of hear the engine starting. There we go. Come on, engines. You can do it. <laughs> Either a stronger engine, or I just think it was the sheer weight in the back. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to be doing some towing engines at, or towing missions at this time. There was another one here where a blue boat, but I think the small speed boats were the only ones I could probably even do in the first place. Um, well, I have some ideas that I want to crank out here. So we're going to head back to starting our port. I mean, there's some things you could probably do with uh, gearboxes that can make the engines with a bit more torque and all that. Uh, we'll see. Alright, there's Hospital Island. And we'll head that way. And I believe somewhere around here. Guess about here ish. Well, here we go. I'm at three hundred. Yeah, so I need to head towards Hospital Island. Uh, starting island, I believe, is on the other side. <laughs> yep, probably going to make a towing vehicle. 
Um, with, yeah, maybe with, uh, because I have two engines, one for each prop in this one. Which gives it a nice, nice bit of speed with it. Um, I wonder if there is a heavier, I should double check to see if there's a heavier engine in the pre-built. Otherwise, I'm going to have to build my own or figure out how to do like, or maybe even make a three engine or four engine beast. There we go. Okay, let's see. There's also a, a mod called Stormlink, which I might put in. Um, that allows us to do uh, transportation missions. You pick up people from one island, bring them to another. You can also transport cargo like that. Game already has transporting some cargo stuff in it already. Alright, let's see. So using that starter really sucked up the battery, and I believe I have four in there, too. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, and uh, I did put in uh, the larger pump for the water pump, so it actually can spray water at quite a distance now. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So, one idea I'm having is that I will raise the back here ever so slightly, I think. So, let me remove that, and I'm going to put a normal block here. If I remove the eraser, there we go. There we go, and we will... I think that this will help with that. Uh, we're going to look at all the normal blocks here. So we're going to need a wedge. And I'm going to use a 1x2 wedge as well. Haha. <laughs> And my the beginning of my last uh, episode, I had it that it said uh, the quail on the side, but I need to make it figure out how to look better. Yes, the nerdy quail naval ship. <laughs> the Yang. Alright. And then we'll just paint the Coast Guard stripe up. Yeah, that might help a little bit out. Uh, I'll PM you that uh, later. Let's see here. Uh, not fluid hose, I want the rope anchor. I already had one in the back. I think that will help a little bit, having it taller in the back. And... Let's see here. <laughs> yes, mini prints. So that sort of works. Let's 
It's just that Stormworks is a little odd, I think, at times. Let's see. Though I do like having that up one higher. I think that helps out a lot. Okay, let's see. Now, we'll have this here. Let's go. Paint this really quick. Hmm. All right. Engine. All right, so there is a medium engine and a large engine. So I could probably use this. Just curious, how big is this thing? Oh, that sport, or uh, that little speedboat had one of these in there. Hmm. Just thinking. All right. Let's start with single block. Just thinking out loud here for a towing boat. So if I did about here, go to here, and if we're just making it a towing boat, we don't need to make it terribly big and fit it with all the extra equipment. And we put in the this sucker in there. Large engine. How much room do we need with this thing? That thing is huge and I love it. Alright. Um I'm just trying to see what is this port. That is, okay, that will go back to the engine. Awesome. Or to the propeller. Yeah, that's my idea. We'll make this a little wider. It's going to be a squat little thing. Yeah, and just in case something happens to be happen, we can do some quick little things. All right. So we'll have the large engine, turn it all the way around. And this will be the bottom of the boat right here. We'll figure out the front and how it looks later. But we have that. It'll need to be taller. Do, 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 do. I mean, I also have 63,000. I've been making a lot of money on some rescues here and there. So, probably time for this. Or we could probably look into uh, getting a larger port. But we'll just start with a rectangle for now. Okay. All right. So we have this. I don't know if this is all we need. So let me see. That's air. That's exhaust. 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 Two exhaust. In coolant. Fuel. Out coolant. 
So we'll do the same thing I did last time, where we'll have this as a fuel here. All right, and for amusement purposes, it floats. Though it's backwards. Can I just, how do I rotate this entire thing? Should be a way to do that. Center mass, direction arrows. Well, let's see here. Movement. No. All right. So that's. I have a basic idea with that. So let me. Exit the editor. Really quick first. So I got that place there. That's a train station I can buy. Um, and yes, we can make trains in here. This is all this is a railroad that I can use. All the way up to up here, I believe. What I'm looking for was what would be the next nice little place. Here's one for sale up here. It's probably a slightly bigger port. Ah, uh, here's a one. Looks like it has a dock and an airport. Right. I'll think about that. There's also the freight terminal here. I can buy here. And yeah, and then there's an airport right here that I can get as well. Number two, the... Uh, Ghost Guard out, Outpost. It does sound nice. Um, really wish I knew how much it cost. Da, 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 da. Because, like, over here... Well, so for some standing reason, I think I accidentally bought a coal gantry over here. Um, not sure how that happened. Oh, never mind. I think these are all just set that you own them, so if you need to buy more fuel, you can. can. Okay. Alright. Moving on, there is a refuel depot over here, it looks like. Or an oil... Oh, yes, that was the oil rig that we saw. So, we might just visit here and see what it looks like. Eventually. I do like the idea of still just trying to make a little tugboat of some sort. Something with a huge engine. Um, but I think our overall goal is that we will definitely... We're going to work on buying this outpost over here. That will be our goal. And we'll check that out as well. Awesome, awesome. Oh, yeah. So, tugboat. Uh, 
I'm going to say new vehicle. And let's actually think about this design. So we'll start off with say about that long that way let's extend it a little bit this way and not as long as our other boat but it's going to need the space for that engine something like that and hmm What if we will just make it flat in front for now? Okay. Uh, we'll fill this in. We'll make it a little squat nose looking thing. <laughs> Let's drop this. About there. Okay. Uh, engine. So that's the front, and this time we'll put it on the right side. So we are going to put you here. And then we will have a bit of room in the front here. And then this will be fuel. And anything else we need can go in the front or in the back here, like batteries. Probably enough room for batteries in the back there. And let's build a frame. Okay, so this will all be sealed. And if we just make this top flat, do let's say an enclosed cabin. on the top here. See, one, two, three, four, five. We need about six or seven. Five, six, seven. It's really not behaving today. All right, that works. Put a door here, and yeah, we'll we'll start with this propeller, small rotors, giant, large. Probably need to build this up really quick. Okay. And you are about here. Yep. So what do I need for this? It's just hard to see. Let's. What do we need here, I think? Uh, I'm gonna make this red so I can see it better. And I'm gonna stick you So I can't really see what it needs, so what does it need? What does it need? We'll 
just make that red right there. Giant propeller or large propeller. We'll stick you there. Erase. All right. What is okay? Just one of those. Um, just a pipe. We're gonna make it enclosed. Straight section and a straight pipe right there. So we'll just bam and yep. The sense that it is with engine RPS of my. Thing, yeah. I need any color I can see what it is. So I wonder if that will be enough. I'd probably make it not as wide. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Yeah, if I don't make it as big on the sides, that will probably help. So we'll. Trim this down. And we'll trim it down one more, I think. <laughs> okay. So, making this a little bit more smoother looking. We are... Like, I kind of know how these things look in real life a little bit, but not quite. Um, let's start by just doing a simple wedge on this side. Okay, and that will make that look a little better for now and I think if we made it that I shouldn't put the square block away block let's see work on the nose so if we bring this out like so And had you here. Let's see. And then we get a. So we got our wedge option. So I got a one by two and a one by four. And then we take off a little bit here. And actually, bam, bam. And another one by two here. Ah, there we go. That looks much better. That way, it, we have a little bit of a, a curve to the front, and that will that will help out a lot. I need to erase this one. Okay, and we'll stick that one by two here for our tugboat. So if you're just joining in on with us, I am. We have a rescue ship, but our rescue ship isn't particularly great for towing. So I am trying to design a beast of a small boat to try and be able to just plow through the water. Yeah. 
Okay, I probably need to figure, make it like so. But in the meantime, All right, and that's where the fuel come from is in here. So I'm gonna close off this in the front. Okay. So things that we'll need. We will need a fluid spawner. A fluid meter. fluid port and that should get that going next I am going to get some batteries I'm gonna try these medium ones I haven't tried these before okay so the propellers connected yes yes you are awake here is our ugly monstrosity so far. I have no clue how to make the front, but hey, if it works, it works. Um, batteries. We'll just stick those right there. Fluid spawner. I'll just Erase the middle right there. Okay. And we're going to stick the meter right here as well. Cool. And select this will spawn diesel. And we'll just fill this in. Oh, whoops. Undo. So we got a propeller, all that, a start of a design for the nose, start of a design for the back. It is a giant bathtub, almost. Okay. And we'll have a window in the front. I'm going to actually probably cover this thing in windows in there. And then we're going to have a door in the back. Uh, we're not going to make a custom door. We're just going to do a straight, just like hinge door or something. Uh, hinge door. Yeah, let's try that. How much space do we need for you this? A lot more. Try sliding door. A little bit more usable, yep. Yeah. Okay, so I need five removed. And one higher. And I think I'll take out this bottom right here. Get the sliding door. Right, come on, I thought you could fit in here. Just erase that. Okay, sliding door. Bam, bam. Dun, dun. Okay. All right, that should work. Put 
check down here. Uh, we'll fill that in. Somehow. Sorry, just trying to get these little doohickeys in. And I think that should do it. All right. Okay, so that bear basic is in. Um, and do that. A helm. For the front here. Why aren't you? Probably needs one more height. Just throw that on. Okay, come on. Cool. And just for uh, testing purposes, we're going to throw in a key. Start, we're going to have the throttle. So, key there. Throttle here. Of course, I forgot symmetry was on. Take it off really quick. Okay, okay. Uh, to test if the engine actually works, we need to do some things with the engine. For example, we need all the piping. Okay, so pipe angle, pipe and close is probably one we're going to use. Uh, we need a pipe straight. We are going to need fluid port is already on there. Fluid exhaust, fluid filter, fluid flow valve. Ay 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 ay. Is there a intake one? Well, that is the intake one. Pump, pressure sensor, exhaust. You need coffee? Yeah. Exhaust and then exhaust. So we're going to take that and take that. And then everything else on the bottom here is out coolant, fuel, and in coolant. Okay. Um, how do I want to do this? So I am going to drop the fuel. Get the corner piece here. I'm gonna have it immediately go down. And we're gonna curve it on the bottom. Oh, then we're going to do straight, straight, and then we're going to get this um, portion erased. We're going to do a fluid port and connect. Then, since it's fuel, I like to paint it red. Oh, fuel. We're going to do bright red. Okay. 
because I like my color coordination. Bam. All right, so we got fuel. We got power out. And next is coolant. Uh, radiator. We're going to go back to white. Radiator, heat radiator, 3x3, three 5x5. Three, five five. Um, is that enough? Well, we're going to just try this. So, radiator. And we are going to need two pipes out first. So, that's out. That's in. So, in gets that color. Out gets orange. And the radiator itself will just be normal color. I think it's too tall to be like that. So we're going to rotate it around. Bam. That should be good, right? Because that's, I think so. I don't think there's a specific in or out with it, to be honest. So let me just try. Put you here. Are you an in or out? Nope, you're just fluid, fluid, fluid A, fluid B. Perfect. All right. So that's all set up. Now, this is where things get interesting. Because now it is about the exhaust and air intake as we saw with my last my rescue boat it yeah well that's no bueno i'll just erase all of this um there was a possibility that the air was getting water in it so what we're going to do is one we're going to enclose that close that close that okay so now I was going to have my door there. I could extend these out further. You know, that's what we're going to do. We're going to extend those out. fill these back up afterwards actually we'll fill those later um i need these not to be here so what if we did this bam bam and then we get a t-piece bam and you go bam, bam. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's actually have intake go to the other side. Let's finish the exhaust first. Bam. And we'll just drag this out to about here. Then we'll curve it up.
。いいですね。race。one is that one。hopefully。Yeah, that was the first one. So I'm going to stick this pipe here. Oh, that's a pipe angle as well. That does not actually help. And get a block just to fill that spot in. And I'm going to keep the block here because we're going to need it a couple more times. All right, so that is the exhaust. And we will use this angle here. And we're going to bring both the exhaust and the intake up onto. here as this isn't really a rescue ship i'm not planning on using this ship whatsoever to pick up people maybe just a couple here and there but we will see we'll bring that up and you up one you up one more and where's the exhaust we'll, we'll grab the exhaust dun 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 where's the fluid exhaust there you are and bam of course now it doesn't want to connect why won't you connect? Fluid exhaust port. Fluid can flow in and out as part of fluid system. Yes. Maybe just bring it up one more. It doesn't like that pipe. Let's bring it down one and then try the exhaust again. Fluid exhaust. Huh. Erase that one. There we go. And we'll erase that. All right. So now that exhaust is going up. Oh, look. It looks looking a little bit more like a little tugboat. All right. Now we'll work on filling that, that, and that. So now that that one's ready, we're going to bring this to the other side. And we'll curve it around. And we went one, two, three, four, five. Five straights. So we're going to keep it even. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. And curve that up. And we'll just. Is that it? Nope. Is that it? Yep. We'll use this enclosed block, bring it up, and we will do the same thing. Except it's going to be slightly different design, but it will still work. Go here. And we need that up. Bring you all the way up. And we're going to fill in the top here. Weird. Huh. Uh, 
Probably because of that, huh? Alright, that's filled. And... Actually, I'm going to keep that. We're going to angle this later. Yeah, drifting. No worries, man. I'm just going to get this to a testing stage and see how well this little dude works. Okay, that is annoying. Because I don't think... I can't put a curve there. I have to put a straight here. Okay, what if I put you here? This is so weird. I can put it there, but I can't put it on top. Uh... All right, for now, remove that. And I can't put that there either. <laughs> oh, it's because it's part of the door. That's probably why. Yep, yeah, I'm going to be putting benches in the in the little cabin area. Now we'll try this. Bam. And it still won't work. But can I at least put you here? No. Well, this is aggravating. Can I put you here? Yes. Can I put you anywhere along here? No. But yes. So we'll... For testing purposes, we'll just connect there. And we'll paint... This black... And uh, we're going to keep that pipe white, actually. Now, is that a little pipe, random pipe here? Yeah, get rid of this. Uh, last things next, we are going to do rudder. And it is going to have that. Though I will. It's a three by three. Two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. course now it doesn't want to actually fit all right cool so we have a rudder it is a floating rectangle and before we can actually test anything out we need to connect everything so electricity we'll connect both batteries first then we will do you there, you there, you there, and you there. Okay, that's all connected. Next is the logic portion. 
Um, key will connect to the starter. Throttle will connect to the throttle. So we have a temperature gauge. We have an RPS gauge. We will figure those out later. And then you are connected to Andy. And we are going to save this as the, or hold on, this button, the little tug that could. All right, we're going to try this thing out and see if it actually will work. No. Spawn. Well, first test is, does it float? And yes, it does. And it is back heavy or a front heavy. That works. That has a much heftier engine sound. I probably actually should have put in an RPS meter. All right. Dial. We're going to need a couple of these. Um, put RPS over here. And then... Fuel will go here, and electricity will go underneath that. <laughs> Just so I can see what actually is going on on when I'm trying to start this thing. Uh, okay, so electricity. Okay, that's all connected back to the logic. So the value to display will be RPS and backlight will be one, one, one. Top would be fluid meter. So the level that will be electric. Um, select. Okay. We're going to select this, call this fuel, and we're going to have a minimum value of zero and a maximum value of we're going to start off with 10,000. I don't think it's actually, let's go to 6,000. And then zero and one, and this will be elect or electric. You will be RPS, and we're going to have that from zero to maximum value of 25. All right, we'll save this. And we're going to try this out. I might need some weight in the back, I'm thinking. Close that. Helm. Okay, something's happening with it. I'm walking with you to make coffee. Sure thing. Okay. So, we're going to try this again. And 
We're going to jump to the back to see what's going on in the back here. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, I would ask for thoughts because I have no clue why it's not starting. It's connected to coolant. It's connected to fuel. Oh, you know what? I think that one was an angled one. Now let's try this. I think it just wasn't getting any fuel. Open the door, close the door. We'll have like a bench or two back here. All right, now we'll try this. And it's still not working. Lovely. Okay, go down RPS, down all the way. We're going to try this again now. I do have exhaust. It is connected to electrics. I just made sure it was connected to fuel. <laughs> I don't think it's too heavy. It's just not spinning. Hey, necrometer. I have a rudder. Uh, let's see here. And that is connected. Uh, th one thought would be that it would be overheating, but I don't think that's it. Maybe I don't have... Maybe because I'm shoehorning both of the exhausts into one... Or the exhaust isn't connected. Aha! Let's try that. <laughs> so, Necrometer, we have kind of finished a rescue boat, but we found out that we couldn't really tow anything, so we're trying a tugboat. But we're having issues starting this sucker. Yep. It is a tug. So, okay, so that is connect. Our intake is connected. That was connected. Let's double check both things. Alright. You're connected. I think. And you're connected. This side's connected. Yep, and that's a straight, and that's a straight. All right. Troubleshooting ideas. Okay, so I got fuel. The only issue I'm thinking of is that I have both of the exhaust pipes combining into one. Uh, we're going to see if that's actually the issue by... Doubling them up. Let's see here. Erase that. And... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Mostly we're going to try to see if this thing actually can work. Because I put a massive engine on this. We'll go up here. Ew. <laughs> that ain't gonna work. Um, what is it? Q or E? Yep, yep. Alright. Uh, not paint. I 
I keep hitting paint for a race in a race for paint. Okay. And okay, so bam. So we're gonna drop you out here. Drop you here. Okay, and then race. Perfect. Straight. No, 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 no. Straight pipe. Stop it. All right. Straight pipe. Bam. And we're going to dump an exhaust right here just to see if that's what the issue is. Fluid exhaust. All right. Spawn this thing. You're going to be our ugly little tugboat that could. All right. So that is not the issue. I am going to check another thing. Because it happened earlier where I accidentally was using... Cur oh, that's the issue. I was using a curved... So what's happening is the engine and the propeller are not connected. <laughs> Lovely. All right. Derp. Derp. And for painting purposes, for organization, I know that that is that. Now it should work. Yay. Jump for joy. Okay. Right. Now that the propeller is actually connected. Oh, I don't want flooding. Oh, it seems like it's going. Almost. What else? What else? What else? Uh, actually, let's try it again. <laughs> All right, so let's see. So we have 13,000 fuel, 100%. Okay, so 4.9. Like, we are moving... But I'm not getting any additional revolutions per second. I mean, we can leave the starter on, and it's fine. Oh man, this thing's going to be terrible. Uh, okay, let's try... Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Well, it is front heavy. Weight. We are going to use weight on the back of this thing. Symmetry mode. And we're going to do that. Spawn this thing. Cool, it's a little bit more even. And now, let's see if it just needed that. Nope. Alright, anyone? Any thoughts? Um, I think the weight did help a little bit. Um... Try smaller propeller, maybe? Huge engine on a smaller propeller? I'm using the large propeller, and I'm only getting 4.92 revolutions per second. Um, propeller. I mean, there's a small one. 
Probably needs more torque, yeah. I mean... Because hmm. I think I use... No, just for science. <laughs> the thing looks so dinky. All right. Mm, the engine itself, there's still some issue with it. Okay, let's relook at logic next. Um, oh, and I'm going to. Replace the small propeller with the big propeller. Or that for funsies. You are actually connected, right? Okay. I think that's way too big for what we need. A uh, large propeller. I wonder if I could make it go to two. Okay, so that is connected. And logic shenanigans. Okay, I have our throttles connected. We'll check. Okay, it's not reversed. Everything else is connected. Um... Let's see. That's connected. Rudder's connected. What if... Okay. Thought. We're going to try. Alright. We're going to hit the... Erase this. We're going to erase that. And we'll race that there. We'll race you. Okay. T. Peace. Bam. Then... Symmetry is on. Perfect, so... In a corner. And propeller. All right. Maybe it's just an idea. Maybe if we split it to two. Alright, so I don't think it's with any of the setup. It's something is happening. Well, yeah, it is moving, but if I turn off the starter, it will stop. Because I turn it on, it gets to 4.9 RPS. I crank up the throttle doesn't crank the RPS. Turn that off and the starter shuts off and the engine stops. So 
So. I don't think it has anything to do with having two propellers or not, but I am going to erase that, erase that. Going back to single propeller. And need to think on what is the issue. All right. And I'm going to stick with the large propeller. Okay, so it is connected. That is item one. Okay, so you're connected. Then we'll make you green. Well, undo, paint, green, green. So... If we have, there's no other empty port on the engine. Otherwise, it would be saying that there's an issue. We'll have a giant exclamation point. So, it's not overheating because it's nothing for it to overheat with. Um, I mean... Oh, whoops. What, whatever I just removed, I just hit undo. Okay. Gearbox. All right. Changing gearboxes for changing the torque and speed across power connections. The ratio can be toggled between two values, which can be set in the properties. Two properties. Well, we'll need this to make a reverse. Um... Let's just start sticking this here. I have yet to use a gearbox before. I have no clue how they work or how they are used. Um, so this, this will be interesting. All right, we're going to just connect it. To that okay so we're gonna select this gearbox so ratio off is one to one we'll do three to two and that will be reverse i think We did. I think that sounds right. And I am going to put a. We need something to control this. So a toggle or something. Toggle. Or no. Uh, switches. We're gonna look at switches. All right. What kind of switch do you think we need? Uh, we got keypad. Magall, we don't need the Magall. Uh, Two-sided button? No. Not a velocity pivot, suspension, small keypad. Do, 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 do. Push button, linear track, linear track base, large keypad. We will just use a... Where's the keypad? Small keypad. Right there. All right, and we are going to connect it to electricity. Bam. And you. Uh, gear box. And we are going to connect you to output value mm, no i guess it's not that 
Uh, we'll remove that. Okay. Now, let's see here. We've got gear switch. So, oh, I can connect it to one. And I'm going to connect, disconnect all those. This might be something I will need to probably research on how to actually make it work. But I think with a 3 to 2 ratio... It's a bit better. We're getting 4.94 RPS. But interesting thing if we hit 1. Aha! We have a reverse! At least we have that going for us. Okay, so yes, I disconnected all of that. Um, gearbox. RPS limiter is. Uh, we're getting at max power. Yeah. Gearbox, we're gonna try 9 to 5. I'm not too sure what all that means offhand, but we'll try it. Experimentation and learning. Mm, still not doing anything. Okay. So, if it's not that... I mean, it's going the right way, and it's obviously working. So if it wasn't working, wouldn't we wouldn't be able to go in reverse. Try two to one ratio. Come on, there we go. Because if I can get this rolling, that would be the main thing. And no, we're just still, we're still maxing out just the 9.4 RPS here. <laughs> All right, getting a couple of new followers or uh, viewers. Uh, thanks for uh, watching. Make sure to hit follow. I have a YouTube channel also called the Nerdy Quail. And uh, yeah, just make sure to just hit uh, that follow button and all that. Um, so what we're trying to do is we're trying to make a tugboat, and we're not doing too well. Um, I never tried a large engine before. So I have no clue what's going on here. So we had one gearbox here. I've never used a gearbox before. And I'm just not getting... Um, any revolutions per second on this propeller. Now I could try increasing the RPS limiter to 30. And then let's go to 75% power. On a 2 to 1 gearbox ratio. No, that's not doing it. All right, if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. All right, we're going to do that, and I'm going to actually drop this back down to 20. We're going to switch. We got a 5 to 2. So we'll try the 5 to 2 ratio. I mean, I have a feeling it's not that. It's something else. Yeah. Let's double check a few things. Alright, so we have... Oh, that might be it right there. Okay. 
Mm, there's a medium engine, but I have an idea, I think, where the mistake is. And we are going to fix it. I think it because it was just sounding like it wasn't getting any fuel. So I think that right there. There we go. Oh dear. Awesome. Only issues is that this thing is really side to side. Uh, let's take a look at it in photo mode. Can't really see. It's kind of dark out. But we have a tugboat. Alright. That issue is taken care of. Um, I'm going to keep the gearbox on because one, I want to see what I can actually do with it. I'll probably research how the actually things work with it. Okay, so we have the bare absolute minimum on this thing. Um, so I got that for shifting. Uh, we are going to use, I'm going to have these be the same. So throttle up will be max will be actually not four. Throttle up max will be two. Throttle down max will be three. Um, we're going to have these on, all the backlighting will be on four right now. Awesome. So we figured out the issue and the issue was, is that I didn't have a fluid port actually connected to the fuel, fuel line. So now flipping this over. To building. Okay. Next, we're going to actually need to do something with how this all looks. Um, I'm going to go back to block, normal blocks, because I don't think we need to do anything with pipes anymore for now. Get the inverse pyramid, get the wedges out, and windows. All right, uh, do we have a two by three, which is here? And I don't think I have anything bigger than that. And we'll just stick with two by threes, because I think I can just put them here. Do, 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 do. Come on. Actually, are there three by threes? There's three by three. We'll take a three by three instead. Huh. Well, we'll think about that. Let's see. Undo. Forgot it's seven, not three. Or six. Uh, okay, we're going to erase this top portion here. And... Okay, let's see. How do I want this to look? We can use that. And... So that's an inverse pyramid, so let's get a pyramid. there. Ew. Okay. Yeah. And then a wedge. Get that inverse pyramid back. All right. There are inverse pyramids there. I have a wedge, inverse pyramid. Where's the normal pyramid? It's just 
Go back here and just look for it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 pyramid. There we go. And can I just use a wedge up here? All right, kind of make a little bit of an overhang on it. Nice. And then we'll use a wedge all the way down. And across here. Yeah. Okay. And then we will fill this in for now. I might stick microcontrollers in here if we need them. I might look up uh, stability control, maybe. Because I think st something like stability control would actually be quite useful. And I'm going to use this for additional uh, dials and stuff, I think, right there. And then we'll use the two 3x3s. Three and then we'll use the windows for the windows. Or now it's two by threes or I just can't win I think it's under the I can't win option uh, let's see here window I could just do all one by ones all right let's see three by three two by twos maybe no, we need the two because it's the height is three. So we'll take you. Do that. And for now, we'll have a one by three in the middle. Do, 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 do. All right. At least there's windows. Thought. Just thinking. Just do that, stick it out there, put the one by three in the middle. Yeah, we'll just do that. Bam, bam. That one by three. Do, 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 do. Okay. And we'll get rid of this nose. All right. And the biggest windows we have are three by threes. We'll just grab them. Oh, that's not letting me drag it. That's annoying. Okay, that should be good there. Yeah, bum bum dun. Da da dun. Okay, so now we can go in. We have all the basics that we need. Um, I might put engine temperature in as a gauge just in case, because I really don't know how the coolant system's working. Um, but we're gonna get some bare basics emergency equipment on this thing. And then we will start tweaking and doing all the other fun stuff. But, for example, this isn't my dedicated firefighting boat. Hey, look, nuclear fuel rod. Um, this is my... Oh, we have a couple of towing missions, and people need to get towed. So... Oh, I do know what I need. And we are going to use this front section. GPS sensor. And we're going to turn off that 
symmetry. We're going to put the sensor there and turn it around. We'll put the sensor there. Uh, I found that that was incredibly useful to have in the other boat. I just need a spot to put it. Oh, I have an idea. Display. I can get it in the right thing. Okay, bam. Bam. Or actually, are these two? What if, let's, uh, okay. Oh, I uh, need L. What if I just stick them here? Instead, we'll see how that looks really quick. We'll spawn the boat. Because I don't want my vision to... Oh, that's fine. And then that will have the GPS, and I'll stick a, a compass in the middle. Okay, now for a compass... There we go. So now we have a compass, two gauges. We're going to start fiddling with the gauges. They're going to be four. This will be X, GPS X. And then we'll have GPS Y. And time to hook everything up. Let's see. Uh, display. We'll just all the batteries are connected to each other, so it doesn't matter really which one goes to which. It just makes it easier. Oh, that's selecting the charge. Um, here, where's X? There's X. And there's Y. Now we'll do electricity. Uh, it wants to be backlit and have that options. Backlight is selected on four, I believe. Compass, backlight, GPSY, backlight. And what's the issue? Electricity? Ah, yeah. All right. So we have... A GPS system, which needs electricity. We have the engines working. Um, it is a towboat, so we will need a few pieces of equipment. So I'm going to start by actually building um, this. We're going to build kind of like a wall that goes around here. And... Okay. And we don't need that one in the middle here. And we'll just line that up. And we will get rope. Rope anchor. Rope in the inventory. And so we're going to race one here, erase one here, and erase one here. So you got that there, got that there, and undo. And that there. Okay, so those are the attachment points. And we are going to put 
let's see, we're going to put one here, one here, one here. So three ropes in the back. And then in between, I think, well, I think these are three. Uh, yeah. Um, so we're going to have two fire extinguishers. Or no. Get rid of that there. Uh... Let's see here. We're going to put a fire extinguisher here. Okay. Actually, you probably will want access to the front. Um, undo. We'll just leave it like that for now. Um, Where's a good spot for this? Uh, we'll just do erase one, two, three. And we'll just stick it here. And in the back here, we'll have. Yeah, wall double stack. I will probably most likely. Um, I'm just thinking of just placing where I want things. Next to door. What if we... Now we'll just grab this. Okay. So we got the work area, three ropes, some uh, first aid kits. We'll have Oh, D, sorry, D, Fib. We're going to have one D, Fibulator in here. We'll stick that. Where do I want this? Uh, We'll stick it as part of the wall, I think. We'll have two of them. One, two, three... Defib. We're going to make it orange. And since this is going to be a towing vehicle, just thinking just now, uh, welding. If I can spell welding. Nope, I can't. Torch. There we go. Uh, go back to white. Uh, I'm just going to stick these here. So, underwater and normal. So, we'll have these. One, two, three. I'm going to have a normal one in here if I can fit it. Well, let's erase one more. And we'll put an underwater one here. It really does not like me clicking on the toolbar. All right. And then because of the nature of this boat, 
I am going to get scuba. We'll have one scuba ready to go, and we are going to have that placed in here. And it's a three by three, I believe. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And dun, 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 bam. All right, so we have some basic equipment. Basic that. Uh, I'm going to be right back in a moment. I'm back, sorry. Um, the, I forgot to put my mute back on, or un re put on the mic. All right, we're going to try to make this thing yellow. All right, and then we're going to do top or the deck of gray. Uh, we're still going to make that. We're going to make this yellow. Oh, and you know what? This, this also needs lights, uh, but we'll We'll double check that later. Alright, I like the walls here and the inside white. I think that looks decent. Gray is all good. Yeah, mostly I think... I think it needs a lip all the way around. I'm going to actually make it white because I just want the edge to be yellow. I think a lip all the way around would look good. All right, and then get that there white. Uh, symmetry this up. Yeah, I just think it'll, it'll make it look a little better. And, oh, and actually, I'm thinking... Okay, that's in there. And we'll... Hmm... 
make it like so. There we go. Uh, yep, and we'll get the yellow. The paintbrush. And plain fill that. That, that, and that. Alright. That looks a little better. I still think I need to make this rounded. Somehow. I could probably start by... Take you. Go there. And then we'll take the inverse pyramid piece. I have no clue how to transition from that to that. Maybe that. At least for now. And release that. Take that. Nope, that does not fit like that. Like that, maybe. A little bit of a rounded in there. Uh, we'll get the front done as well. And get that inverse pyramid in there. The inverse pyramid is just kind of like a placeholder. Um, until I can figure out how to, I can actually like make it look good and rounded on there. And we'll leave that like how it is. That's good. Oh, and it needs it needs one last thing here. We need to put some ladders in. So we're going to stick them. Yeah, we're going to stick them. Three, one, two, three. We'll go one more. And select the ladder. There we go. That way we can get in. All right. Now we'll save this again. I need some sort of accent. What if we... A stripe cross. Dun 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 dun. All right, got a little something. I like the white windows. And the white door. I think we'll keep that like that. Uh, that needs to be blacked. And cool. Let's actually try this out. Oh. First things first. Let's... We're going to wait until daylight to actually do anything with it. And then it'll be our little tugboat that could. It took a long time to figure out what in the world was going on with that engine. Okay, we'll wait till morning.
All right, wake up. It's another beautiful sunrise in the Coast Guard. And what do we got? So we have transport a small boat, small speed boat. So we'll set that as where we're going. We're going to go here. So we need to go south east ish. We're going to try our new tugboat. I have some qualms with how much it goes lists from side to side when we're turning, but that's what this whole mission's about. We're testing everything on this. Okay, we're gonna start by heading around the island. All right, let's see what this actually looks like in camera mode. Hey, it actually looks like a tugboat. That looks nice. Alright. Ah, okay. So we have a limiter on at 20 RPS, which is fine, and... Fuel's going good, electric's going good. Awesome. Alright, we're at plus 100, minus 200. Yeah, we're heading the right way. I think. What if we... Nope. What if we go that way? Yeah. Oh, that would be fun, yeah. We have, uh, where I'm at, we have a couple of, uh, well, we have a big game castle. And that's pretty fun to go to. Hey, viewers, I got a couple new viewers here. Welcome to the Nerdy Quail, everyone. Uh, I just, this is our first time trying to test out our tugboat. Um, I might raise the windows up by one. We're just seeing how everything works on it. A uh, bunch of stuff that I've never tried before. Like, I never tried a gearbox before. Um, I have it limited to 20 RPS. But this is full throttle. I put a GPS system on this thing. Uh, compass ball. Uh, I need to redo the fuel meter and electric meter. But I'm liking how the setup is in this. Yeah, we're going to adjust that, too, I think. All right. So that speed bow is somewhere over here, I believe. Yep, it's the same one that we tried earlier. So, yeah, I think... I'm not sure what I should do. Maybe, um, with the roll when we use the rudder, it rolls really bad. I think I kind of like this little boat. Bars on the side. I don't know. It's just a thought. Let's see. Oh, and then, um... Yes, and I did figure out how to do reverse. So, on the rescue boat, I will probably be adding a gearbox as well. And that gearbox, I'll probably will uh, 
it would just be a 1 to 1 forward and then a 1 to minus 1 backwards. The other fun thing is that this game can be played multiplayer. The, uh, um, that way we could all coordinate and work together. Multiple people could work different positions on the boat. Um, you have a captain or someone at the helm while someone's manning the firefighting equipment. Well, you have people going in, getting the people off the boat. All good stuff. Okay, that one's still active. Good. Yeah, they actually, uh, made a, uh, oh dear, our, um, main building is on fire, I think. The people that made this game also made, a uh, Carrier Command 2 for Micro Pros, um, Controlling the boats are very similar, but it's actually like a military, sci-fi military carrier. And you have tons of positions for everyone. So you can have people work tactical while other people work like logistics. It's quite neat. So we're going to need to put this thing in as fast as possible because our uh, dock is on fire. Oh dear. Alright. Just cut it completely. Don't roll on me. Don't roll on me. Hey, it said that was my uh, maintenance engineer, so it's their fault. Oh, that's lovely and bright and yellow. Okay, equip rope. Attach rope. Aha! Oh, I'm a little too far away. That is such a blocky looking ship. We will try to fix that later. Um, man, this thing goes really fast backwards. Alright, that should be better. I think. Hey, look, there's a swordfish. Come on. I can just get it. Come on. There we go. <laughs> okay, equip this rope. Come on. I know you can do it. I think I lost the rope. Okay. There we go. Two ropes. Let's see if this works. <laughs> Let's take a look at this in camera mode. Thing is really going backwards. Uh, okay. Let's turn that off. Alright, I need to head to slightly southeast, not west. I 
I think this thing only has a slight listing problem. Like, I don't... How badly is this going? Now, I feel like I've seen someone has made a stabilization microcontroller. Um, I can figure out how it works and how to program it in-game and all that. That might help. I feel like I need to give this more RPS, maybe. Increase the limiter. I'm not sure, but this thing has a ton of power with it. Like, even if I drop it to 60, I'm still at 20 RPS. Yes, that lean. That lean, man. But it's working. I mean, we got the boat. <laughs> the boat's flipped over, but we got the boat. <laughs> It didn't say what condition it had to be in when we returned it. I just really hope we don't turn over. And I think that's where we need to go. I hope. Oh, well, yeah, that's reflecting where we are. Perfect. And it keeps leaning to the right because of the boat. And then the ropes crossed on us. Like, I believe in you. I believe in you, Tugboat. Alright, man. Have a good night. We'll drop this down to 30, and I still think that's 20 RPS. Yep. Come on, let's avoid that shoreline. No, don't roll on me. Don't roll on me. Don't roll on me. Is this close enough? Come on. Am I at where I need to be? Just about. Ah, we did it. Alright. Thanks, Yang. I'm actually just about to be finishing up as well, but we're going to disconnect this boat. Well, we did it. It works. Now we just had to uh, head back to our place. Ah, yes. Uh, I wish I could join in on Pathfinder. First edition, right, Necrometer? Ah, uh, first edition's fun. 
I do enjoy second edition if you ever want to try that out. I do have it. Not quite. It's getting there. I have the bestiaries and if uh player's guide and I think the GM guide. Yeah. Right now I'm trying to get a uh Wrath and Glory game together with some people. Well, okay. Let's get some stats on this trip so far. So, we've used like 3,000 or almost 4,000 gallons of fuel. Or liters or whatever. How, whatever. We units of fuel. Um, but we only have used 0.5% of our battery. I think that's good. Alright, so we're just kind of cruising up north. I might make a, another thing that's not... Just to actually know how fast I'm going. But... Alright, let's pull up the binoculars. So... That's the... There's our place there. Alright, once we get back, we take out the fire. That's in our place. I'm going to be ending the stream. Um, if, does anyone have any uh, questions about the game or anything? Uh, I can answer a few things. Or any ideas for any of the boats. Our goal is to eventually get... Um, try to get this place here, the Coast Guard Outpost. Because I think it has a an airfield. Oh no, and since we're doing survival um, mode, it doesn't actually show you where you are on your map. So that's why I have the GPS system and the compass ball. That actually looks like something over there as well. But I don't have a thing saying that there's an emergency. Oh man, this thing does sound like a big massive engine in the back here. So I do think having the multiple rope anchor points helped a bit. Um, I am going to have probably move this up alongside it. I might fiddle with the air intake more, but right now it's working just fine. Oh, that one's black, huh? Uh, yeah, so this thing it just has the bare basics to do some minimal uh, rescue work. Uh, I have some defibrillators just in case people are KO'd. I have welding torches to repair things just in case. I don't have any seats yet, actually. I might put a bench here and a bench here, or two benches in the back here. Well, wrong thing, I thought I had the binoculars out. Yeah, I can't tell what's going on over there. Chugging, chugging, chugging. Now, I might actually put a ladder to go on top. That might be fun. Make a little crow's nest. Okay. I do think the rescue ship is faster. I mean, I do have, I think, what was it, a 5 to 2 f ratio on the gearbox? So it's producing tons of, like, torque and power, I believe. 
I need to actually look up and then see how the difference is and all that. Um, so, I mean, it's it's a lot beefier and I can actually tow stuff with it. The uh, rescue ship just has an issue of it can't restart well after leaving port. And then, uh, let's see, let's check if the backlighting all works. Oh, whoops. That wasn't it. Uh, was it on four? Yeah, four. Okay. So all the backlighting works. That's good. Make it easier to see if we're doing some night operations. So other things that this boat will need. Um, we're going to put lights on it. Um, we'll probably put some navigation lights on it. Some forward lights. Maybe a spotlight. Uh, we'll close that. That will help out a lot at night. I I need to figure out how to fix the listing and the side to all the side to sideness. Uh, I might tweak the windows a bit, like bringing these windows up on the side here, and I might redo the front ones. I don't like having the two posts in the middle, so I might move it so that I have. A 3x3 three three in the middle? Yeah, that'd probably be good. Uh, other things, it's like I'm trying to figure out how to connect the threat auto lever to WS on the helm. But apparently you can't do that. I could control the throttle directly with W and S by connecting the helm directly to the engine. But I like having the, the throttle lever and using it. I don't see the fire anywhere. The next type of boat or vehicle I would like to make would probably be an aircraft of some sort, which is kind of why I want to see where we can get in a hangar somewhere. A firefighting aircraft might be pretty fun to do. I've seen that a uh, a VDOL is possible, but that seems really complicated to try. Uh, a helicopter probably would be best. To, if we want to do more rescue work. A plane might be cool to try to do like cargo stuff. Or um, like a uh, Poseidon almost. Alright, we're just going to dump this thing in the inside here. Because using the throttle does absolutely nothing to this ship. Okay, it says extinguish the remaining fires. Cool, and we'll just kind of coast in. Okay. And we'll grab fire extinguisher and we'll just put out the fire. Yes. Well, that's mostly the joke for helicopters, though, that they're so ugly. But, yeah, I mean, the VTOL is just kind of complicated, because you have to do rotors to bring um, the engines around and all that. Well, that was a mistake, dude. I'm going to dock your pay. Yeah, we got money from that. And our boat is still listing to one side. Okay, we'll go to the other side if I... Yep. I wonder if it's not wide enough. Anyway. I hope you all enjoyed the, today's stream. Um, be sure to uh, hit the follow button and all that. And uh, make sure to... Check out my Facebook page as well. It's the Nerdy Quail. I have a YouTube. I will be adding these all to YouTube. 
And uh, I just hope that everyone has a good rest of the day. Take care.